¿Qué onda mi gente? It's your boy Chingo Bling. Thank you for visiting my new channel. Before we get to, to the video, just want a quick reminder, we're on tour right now. We're going city to city, going viral comedy tour. I'll see you there. Now, it's time for the video. Let's go. What up, world? It's your boy Chingo Bling. And today, I'm going to show you some of my favorite boots out of my boot collection. And stay tuned to the end because the number one question is, Chingo, where the boots? Why you don't wear the boots no more? Where you, where you keep the boots at? I'm going to answer all your Chingo boot related questions at the end. All right, so let's get into the boots. Ostrich boots, pull the pants out, Nike swoosh. Got no green card, but I go hard. All right, so first up, we got to start in the beginning. All right, y'all know me as the originator of the drip. I know we see Lil Nas X and Post Malone and, and everybody wearing the cowboy hat and doing the boot swag. So let me show y'all where the drip was originated from. Ostrich boots, pull the pants out, Nike swoosh. All right, we starting with the Chingo Ones. All right, these are the Chingo Ones. These are one of the original pair that still had the swoosh. That's before me and Nike had got into it. You know, their lawyers and my lawyers had some discussions and some threats were made and some swooshes had to kind of get removed. But anyway, as you can see, we got the, the black, white, red, you know, the bread colorway. Um, we hit it with the black toe, you know, kind of like the Jordan 11s, the patent leathers. These got the little Stacy Adams type of little, little, little dress up drip. And of course, you hit it with that color pop, the BAM! Hit it with the swoosh on it, you know? And uh, this is where it all started, man. Ostrich boots, pull the pants out, Nike. All right, the next pair out of my boot collection are the Chingo 3s, all right? These are the 3s, these, these are third generation Chingo boots, where we start playing with the colorways a little bit. As you can, as you can see, as you can see, we removed the, uh, the little black toe. So these are like, these are like Miami Dolphins colors, but it got the little Texas swag. As you can see, we have the custom H-Town, you know what I'm saying? Read them and weep them right there. This is where we pop trunk at. This is where, you know what I'm saying, DJ Screw. This is where, this is where DJ Screw screwed up the whole world. This is where y'all y'all still y'all still popping seals. Y'all still talking about some promethazines and white cups and grills and, and swanging and coming down and the drip and the sauce. That's where it came from. Uh, of course, you hit it with the signature. Had to borrow that from Nike. And if, if you zoom in, this has my custom you know, Chingo Bling insignia. All my pair were custom all the way down to the details, you know, to the tag, you know, the stitching we chose on the back, you know. I, and I wanted to go with the wood grain. I, I kept it I kept it natural wood grain on this because it'll complement the drip, you know what I'm talking about? So, bam, the Chingo 3s, these are like circa 05. These drop like an 05, so. Ostrich boots, pull the pants out, Nike. The now and later gators. These right here say now and motherfucking later. You know what I'm saying? We, we crisscross the drip. You know what I'm saying? The drip is crisscross. Everything about it is crisscross. And, um, you know, go back and study your hip hop, man. Study your history. Wu Tang started customizing and doing, if you look up the artwork to um, uh, Ghostface Killer uh, album. Damn, what's the name of that one? It's not Supreme Clientele. Don't worry, Joe's gonna add a little picture right here. But uh, you know that that was that was a big part of my my childhood too, and my my hip hop love. And I was honored to just be able to express myself in my whole fit because you know they say hip hop is all about like you know MCing and break dancing and graffiti and, and this and that. It's also drip. Drip one of the five. This drip is the sixth element of hip hop. You know. Shout out to Slick Rick, you know, he had the drip. That's what I be pipping game on, that's what I came up with. So these right here are actually ostrich. As you can see, we hit them with the little turquoise teal. We hit them with the little kiwi lime over here. You got the inverted Jordans, the Jumpman Chingos with the pimp cup. These are the Jumpman Chingos with the pimp cup. My Jumpman had the swoosh. So we got swooshes on swooshes. As you can see on this pair, we went more streamlined. We didn't put the swoosh on the boot, but little man, my youngin still got the swoosh. And uh, I'm pretty pr proud of these pair. As you can see, man, just all the detail, you know, each letter costs. E the letters are ostrich. Uh, we used to go all out, man, you know, with the tags to the insignia. And like I said, man, we're gonna answer the, mu the, the million dollar question at the end of the video, which is, why you don't really rock the boots no more, dog? What's up with that? You ashamed? You don't wanna wear the boots no more? You think you look silly? No, we finna answer all that. Stay tuned. 
But as you can see, we were ahead of our time with the drippage. Blue, blue, sauce. Ostrich boots full of pants out Nike suits. These are the Chingo Fives, all right? These are the Fives. And we had to switch it up. We were doing a lot of, um, we were doing a lot of ostrich and stuff like that. We had to switch it for this pair. For the Fives, we hit them with that Indigo Snake. This is Python. You feel it, see? It, it, a little snake was in the, in the woods and he shed it. And we came and picked up the skin and we made these way, you know, Pinche Indigo. It's kind of like a purplish midnight blue. Still got the tag on it. We hit it with the little detailed, little black and blue on white. It got snake right here, little accents of snakes. It has the tag, some more snake. And uh, you know, and we got the nice little blue. It's kind of like a little, like a navy. It was kind of grown, you know, it's kind of like streamlined. It, it, we started getting away from the swoosh, you know, but my youngest still got the swoosh. He, he's still dripping. You know, still got the pimp cup, still got the little hat. This is the silhouette. And um, yeah, this, this pair was pretty fly. So if you wore it with pants, you couldn't even see the white. You, you didn't even know. People didn't even know how custom you were up under the hood. All they saw was a little, oh, okay, he on his grown man shit. And then you lift that pant leg up. Das, culero, I'm on those. So as y'all can see, man, we've been doing this for a minute and it really wasn't a game when it came to the sauce. You know, we were head to toe. That's why we had all the labels after us, man. It wasn't even the lyrics, man. It was the drill. Come on, young and catch up. Sauce. Ostrich boots, full of pants out Nike suit. These are the Chingo 7s, all right? These are like around 2007, so we hit it with the double seven. Bam! All right, we, we went away with the swoosh completely. We got rid of the swoosh. We hit it with a little bit, something more like Tejano style, a little bit more Tex-Mex. We hit it, 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 it gave me a San Antonio vibe, you know what I'm saying? But this little, this little insignia right here, this is part of my autograph, you know? So my DNA, my thumbprint is all up in, it's all up in the design, man. This is, uh, this is actually some type of like lizard. This is actually like an orange lizard. We wanted to hit them with colorful, man. It was all about popping. Um, as you can see, we got another little piece of the, the skin, the leather here. We went ahead and added, you know, Jordan had the air bubble. We got the spur on that one. So we hit it with the spur. So when you walk in, the women know. Here comes some money. They know where the check coming from. Read them and weep. You know, so after you rock a show, you can just Gracias, se toman agua. Tragos de amargo licor. Ostrich boots, full of pants out Nike swoop. So the million dollar question, Chingo, what's up with the boots, man? That ain't him, dog. Wait, where's the grill? Where's the boots? Where's this? I'm gonna tell y'all why, man. As you can see, we took a lot of chances with fashion. You know, as you can see, we expressed ourselves in so many different ways. And I just wanna say, we were kind of ahead of our time. People didn't really get it. A lot of people didn't get it at the time. But now you see, you know, like I said, Lil Nas X, Post Malone, Diplo. You have everybody in mind trying to pull off this silhouette, pull off this look. As you can see, we've been doing it. So really, I just kind of took a pause to let y'all catch up. That's really all it was, man. When you, when you, are, this is for my artists out there. When you are so, when you are so ahead of your time and you just hitting them with the drip left and right, Sometimes you gotta just step away from it and let and let people ask and let people miss it and let people oh man we, uh, The drip been there the drip ain't gone the drip evolves So I hope you enjoyed the video man We're here for y'all you're at the right channel you're at the new spot make sure to subscribe link comment and tell a friend So let me know in the comments which is your favorite pair and maybe what kind of pair should we bring in 2020? Thank you guys for tuning in y'all take care peace Thank you for watching. Before you head up out of here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button right there. And if you like this video and want more of it, get you some right there. Got you.